New developments this morning from overseas as world leaders investigate a, a bit of a situation in Poland that killed two people involving a missile. The missile hit a town near Poland's border with Ukraine. This morning, Poland's president said while the missile was made in Russia, investigators believe it was launched from Ukraine. And the strike in, and the missile incident in his country was accidental. Ukrainian forces were trying to intercept one of several missiles that Russia fired at targets around Ukraine on Tuesday, Rob. Exactly. And this is big because it seemed like a very provocative, potentially right. war-triggering act. But the temperature has been brought way down this morning as we've learned more. Polish officials say they understand now this was an accident, not an intentional act by Russia or anybody else. They're also saying they're not blaming Ukraine for what happened since it was simply trying to protect protect itself, basically a deadly uh, and dangerous incident, but essentially a mistake. Meantime, Russia, from the very beginning, has denied any involvement that does appear to be true. Correspondent Trent Murray, live now in Warsaw with more on this quickly unfolding story. So Trent, we've learned a lot more just um, early uh, this morning. What is the latest information? And just tell, explain to folks why this was important, because it was a little ominous at first, but again, we're getting a much clearer uh, and much more stabilizing picture than what it appeared to be yesterday. Yeah, that's right, Rob. And, and I don't think it's an overestimation to say that we've really almost been brought back from the brink here a little bit because there was real concern overnight here in Europe that if this indeed was a Russian missile that hit Polish territory, that we could be in for a real new and quite terrifying phase of this war. Of course, Poland uh, is a member of NATO. It is a major European and, and American ally. And if that was a Russian missile that hit, then really it could have escalated quite quickly into something much bigger. But it does seem the morning that the Polish president is really now just trying to bring down the temperature in his country after those rumours ran rife overnight that it could have been a Russian rocket. He says now that the investigations do indeed indicate it is more likely it was a Ukrainian self-defence rocket that was trying to intercept a Russian missile as part of that major barrage we saw yesterday, Moscow launching about 100 missiles all at once at Ukraine, seemingly as the Ukrainians were trying to defend themselves one of their rockets went stray and hit uh, over in U uh, Polish territory. Now, sadly, two Polish nationals were killed. We know there's been a night of very delicate diplomatic discussions taking place with Moscow and Ukraine to try and work out what happened. NATO also meeting over this. And as I say, it seems what we are seeing now is the Poles just trying to step back a little bit calling for calm a little bit, if you will, and making sure that this doesn't escalate because, of course, if it was any sort of escalation that involved NATO standing off against Russia, then we are just in a whole new and quite terrifying territory. But it seems we have been brought back away from that this morning. And Trent, what are Polish officials saying today? Are they taking any uh, extra precautions to safeguard themselves moving forward? Well, look, there's a couple of questions still around that because we know that the military was put on high alert here uh, over this missile when there was still uncertainty about where it came from. We're still trying to get confirmation from defence officials now where, around whether those troops will be sort of stood down Will. But there are some calls uh, now as well to get more air defence systems right into the west of Ukraine. Normally, that's well away from the front lines of this war. But I think what NATO and, and European countries are concerned about is that if this happens again, and it is a Russian missile, uh, then we could again be in for a, a major confrontation. Russia is deliberately, and they have made no secret of it, attacking Ukrainian electricity infrastructure to try and make the Ukrainians suffer throughout the winter with no heating or power, a lot of that electricity infrastructure is in the west of the country because there are interconnectors that basically connect the Ukrainian grid up to the Polish grid and the rest of Europe. And so if those are a target, then we are probably going to see rockets flying around that region again in coming months. And once again, we've got a room here for miscalculation or a mistake to cause a broader conflict. So, look, a lot of questions this morning, I think, around what to do next. I think the main things to look out for will be European response to Russia. How will Moscow respond to all of this? Uh, and also whether our Ukraine will ask for more self-defensive weapons to try and protect now its western part of its country, having given so much focus in recent months to the east and the south.
Mm. And quite honestly, there's been questions about this from the very beginning, because at a time when Russia is suffering some major military setbacks in Ukraine, what would be the motivation to expand the war by attacking a NATO ally? So it's helpful for <laughs> global politics and for the sake of this war that we did get some clarity. And as you said, the temperature being turned down, everyone kind of backing up from the brink. So Warsaw correspondent Trent Murray. Thanks, Trent.